I have been discussing this subject for the greater part of seven years. I would say you don't need car notes, and especially under the context of being a blue-collar worker and or trucker. I don't know what this young lady does and her husband do, but under the context of us as blue-collar working Americans and truckers, I know a lot of guys who have this story. Let's just hear a little bit before we dig into it. Just want to say I've been saying it for years. If you're new, I hope you sub. But I've been saying this for years. Listen to the revelation. Well, after three years with my Tahoe, I am finally getting rid of it. Let me tell you why. So three years ago, if you're an OG on my TikTok, you know that I bought my Tahoe for a lot of money. And I love this car. There's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. Everything about it is just, it was my dream car. It is my dream car and I absolutely love it. But I messed up three years ago when I bought it. So I bought my car and I financed it for $84,000. Stop, stop, stop. These Tahoes, these Denali's. I made a video two years ago about how much the new Escalade was going to be. And the hatred I got for saying it was too much money. You's a broke boy. Don't be mad. You can't afford it. Let them live their life. I'm going to get one when I get my money. That is twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 more expensive than what she's talking about. She's talking about a Tahoe. A Tahoe. She paid 84000 for it. When I was coming out of high school, what were they, 35, 28, 40? Insanity. Which was fine, you know, three years ago. But I have been making $1,400 a month payments. $1,400. 14, I was, I've been saying it. I've been telling y'all the average car note is about $700 a month. I undershot it. Why are you saying average, TB? Because these freaking Tahoes, the Nollies, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. It has to be one of the best-selling cars in America. Are you serious? $1,400 to go to Walmart and work. That is insanity. Someone add fourteen hundred dollars up for uh, uh, for twelve months, please, and tell me what she's paying a year. We haven't talked about insurance for the past three years, and if you do the math, you will see that fourteen hundred dollar a month payments in three years should be around fifty thousand dollars worth of payments. Fifty. Fifty grand. $50,000. Someone must comment at the bottom why this even sounded. Dude, when I was growing up, in 03, a $300 car note was pushing it. 400, you were downright and you were an idiot. $1,400 every single freaking month. Yeah, well, I've only made off $10,000 of the balance. So my $84,000 car that I bought three years ago. Is- Someone work out what that interest was. 10000 in three years and you're giving out 1400 What is that interest? It's now still at a balance of about seventy four, almost $75,000. Oh my God. And honestly, that blows my mind that I have paid $50,000 into this car and have only paid off $10,000 of the balance. So Friday, your girl is getting a new car. And Let's stop there. $84,000 car. You still had the money for the teeth. 
You still have the money to go get your nails done. And I know y'all think them, them white girl highlight jobs are cheap, but they're not. You obviously live in a decent house. You're not missing a meal. See, a lot of this stuff we have to watch in a, in a, in a different way. You're watching someone in a part of society that you're not. That you're not, bro. Because out of all of that, they're still in a house and have the option to go get another car. That's insane. That's insanity. So there's a skosh of, of she's not genuine here because she's still all right. If you do that, you would not be all right, bro. She didn't say the car was repoed. I'm, I'm very confused on what's going on with the car. And honestly, at first I was scared and didn't know if I was making the right decision. And I had to think about it a lot and weigh my options and think about the pros and the cons. And honestly, today I just feel very content with my decision. Three years ago, I was in a mindset of where if I wanted something, I was going to get it. No matter what it was, no matter what I had to do, no matter how much I had to pay, I would work and get the money that I needed and I would buy it. Well, I am. Really? You would work and get the money that you needed and you would get it? Come on now. Not in that mindset anymore. Materialistic things used to be like so important to me. Like I had to have the best of the best of everything. And honestly, I am nowhere near that person. Because of pain. <laughs> It's funny how we convert almost running out of money to, to uh, oh, you know, I learned something. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Economy has shifted from three years ago to now. PP loans have ran out. I don't know if she has PP loans. Just throwing numbers out there. A lot of industries have cut back, and you feel it. And it's like some of this stuff has to go. It's not because you thought to be a better person. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You're sitting up here with a with a with a twelve hundred dollar uh highlight job, twenty thousand dollars worth of teeth, and obvious I mean, I'm assuming she has plastic surgery. I don't know that. Two hundred and fifty dollars worth of nails on. But materialism th isn't everything. This is this is pandering bullshit anymore like I make a good amount of money and I support my family but like why have I been paying so much for a car that I don't drive all the time I only drive it when I go to work or when I'm doing something um obviously that's what a car is for but like I could be using that money towards so many other things I could be saving it I could be using it on vacations I could be using it to buy stuff that materialism isn't everything Honestly, I could be saving that money to buy more materialism shit or go on vacations. But you're not materialistic no more. Interesting. That are more relevant or, you know, putting it towards my family, investments, whatever. And the fact that I've blown $50,000 so far on something that's nowhere near getting paid off stresses me out. And I'm really happy for myself because that is growth. Um, she's growing. Honestly, she's growing. My gosh. You know, the, 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 the negative effects of the economy has been hurting people for a couple years now. Finally kind of caught up to her, and now she's growing. So it's like, it's so random. It's growing. I'm growing now. I'm, I'm a better person for it. Jeez. I'm so glad that I don't really care about materialistic things anymore. And you just said you're getting rid of this materialistic thing to have more money to buy more materialistic shit. To buy more things. I, I just, I, I, mean, I need to stop stopping it. I'm sorry. And, like, I just am really, really excited for this. So on Friday... <laughs> the Tahoe's gonna be gone and I'm gonna be done with it and your girl's buying a new car and we're paying cash for it so hold the phone hold the phone 
you make this terrible decision in money that will cripple most people financially, but you had enough cash to go buy something. Cash. So you went and bought a $2,500 Civic, $4,000 Honda Odyssey for the kids. Where did all that negative equity go? How did you, how did you sell a three and a half, really, they build it a year before. So a four-year-old SUV used by you and your kids, how did you sell that for $74,000? That's the more interesting story here. So I'm going to have zero car payments. And that makes me so happy because I am so excited for the freedom of no longer having a car payment. So the $1,400 that I was spending every month on my car, I can now put to something else. And if I have any advice for anyone that's thinking of buying a car or buying anything honestly and that is going to be making payments on it, my advice is not to do what I did because it is not worth it. Do not pay so much for something that is so irrelevant. Having a nice car is awesome, but it's not necessary to keep up with the trends anymore. Like the trends are changing every couple of months. Like this everybody wanted a tahoe i wanted a tahoe i got a tahoe but like why did i do this to myself because you follow trends <laughs> honestly you you know you follow trends that's why as if you're like you're following this trend of, of downsizing because it's a trend right now but if the economy swings another direction since she's a part of the society that will get access to that direction switch It'll, it'll revert right back. It will revert back right back. It is, it, it, it is a cycle of just spending. And then coming to the internet and making content out of your bad decision and, and not being genuine in your response. You're not genuine in this response. You want to get rid of the car so you have more money to spend. You might as just spend it on the car. That's how I look at that. And then I'm thinking, you know, okay, that's whatever. Once you realize this video did 2 million, video did 2 million. Two million, so she turns around. Do y'all wanna know what is worse than my Tahoe payment? You guys thought that was bad. Wait till you hear this one. Now this is content now. This is, this is content now. Now, oh yeah, I've done this bad decision more than once. It's my husband's truck. My husband drives a 2020. I swear, GMC, it's just. <sighs> Prepare. 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 20. GMC 84 Sierra 1500. We bought it in August of 2022. Financed it for $78,000. He still has a remaining balance of, I think it's seventy-two or $74,000. What the fudge sickle race rat are we talking about here? Hold on, hold on. what is the note? I haven't really checked recently. His payments are $1,600 a month. $3,000 a month in car payments. $3,000 a month in car payments. $36,000 a year to go to the store and work. They spent $50 plus thousand, they spent a hundred plus thousand dollars in driving around their city. A hundred grand.
That is insanity. And you think, yeah, that's rare. It is not rare. Because when you drive through these fancy, when you drive through a middle class place, there are two cars sitting there. Every, drive through a sim suburb. There's a bunch of Sierra trucks and a bunch of Tahoes and Denali's. So it is not rare at all. And everyone's like, how are anybody living? What access to money do you have to where this is cool and you still have a house? These people must make obscene amount of money. And they're coming here talking about, oh, and I'm budgeting for some content. While the regular person, the blue collar person, is working 12 hours a day. They're working 12 hours a day. And they're barely keeping that minivan thing up. I would love to know what her and her, 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 and her husband do. So y'all thought my $1,400 Tahoe payment was bad. His truck payment is $1,600 a month. With an APR of 14%. Do you understand this is insanity? This is insanity. When I got my truck, Ford offered 2%. 14%. Fourteen. That is bananas, bro. It is. It is. It is bananas, bro. It is bananas that this is normal. And I've been telling y'all, we have blue collar workers and truckers have no business playing in this realm. None. We don't know if the loads are going to be good next month. How can you sign sixteen hundred dollars? for who umpteen amount of years when you don't know if your company's going to crash. You don't know if the truck's going to crash. You don't know if your health is going to crash. It is insanity. The materialism is insanity. And when you speak on it, it's, oh, my God, you're jealous. I'm jealous of you paying 3000 a month to drive. If you have 3000 a month to put in cars, you can freaking get cash cars. That is craziness. Blue collar workers, construction workers, truckers, welders do not participate in this insanity. Please. Thank you for coming to the Trucker Brown channel. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. More coming, more coming. I hope you sub. This is the time where I tell you where you can kind of find the things that I'm doing. On Patreon, New Regime link will be in the bottom. You can come over and get exclusive content first. That's a fact. You also can go to TV Uncut, where we don't have to watch our mouth. That link will be bottom. That's on Rumble. I appreciate everybody who subbed to the Patreon and the Rumble this weekend. Check it out. Be there. Do not miss it. I thank you for being here. We're going to keep on going and keep making great content that actually helps people, that actually gives you thought that actually isn't junk, that actually isn't crazy. Appreciate you for being here. Do not do drugs. This is Trucker Brown. Go, shall they get how we gon' fuck on the low? Chain on my neck, but your diamond's a joke. Ring on my finger just like I low. Hop in the water, get hit with that stroke. I'm in the hood eating lamb like a goat. I they came back with that fur on my coat. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nigga, I'm back at it. Foot like a jackrabbit, though as a crack at it. Yeah, I'm in the back alley.